Hello there, Master Hellish here and welcome to Hellish in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing one of my favourites, one of the things that I wanted to do for a long time. But for some reason I didn't do it first and I did some other stuff. But now, today we're doing it. But first, I've got this picture sent in from Bradley. He says it's a failed Hellish Battenberg, but I don't think it's failed because if it's perfect, it's not homemade. And there you go, you've got a nice homemade Battenberg. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, um, what are we going to make today? Today we're going to make omelettes. That's right, omelettes. If you don't know what a omelette is, it's basically an omelette, but with a potato waffle in it, sort of. I'll explain, let's go. Eggs, potato waffles, that's it. So first things first, the potato waffles set longer, so we need to do that bit first. But, um, you know, you can do them in the grill, you can do them this, that. Some of the, check the packet, because some of them, you believe it or not, you can do in the toaster. That's what I'm going to do. Now they take a while to do in the toaster, but it's nice and clean, out of the way, no trays, no sheets, no need to heat up the oven. Done. So now the potato waffles are on the way, let's sort out the omelette part. I seem to have misplaced my little jug, so today I'm using a big jug. I'm going to make up a batch. So, hmm, let me think. For one omelette, you probably want two eggs in a omelette. Um, I'm going to be doing more than two omelettes. So, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to do four eggs. This is going to be one hell of a lunchtime. Give it a whisk. Now, you can make your omelette however you like it, but I like to just use eggs a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and just a touch of butter. Like that. Let's get our pan warm. So the pan's on the hob, really high heat to begin with, tiny bit of oil. Right, so um, that's the omelette mix ready. Our waffles are cooking. As soon as the waffles are ready, we'll move on to the next bit. Right, these potato waffles look done to me. Let's get them in the pan. So, warming up the pan. And we put our, it's cooked, it's uh, very, very hot. And uh, just pop that in the pan, in the middle there. I'm gonna show you this. So now, what you wanna do is get your omelette mix and just gently pour some of that there in, you want to fill up all your little holes, doesn't matter if it spills over, and then just put a little bit extra in. There we go, that will do. Get the heat of the pan up, move it around a little bit, and we'll get that cooking. Now, spatula time. We're going to get the spatula, and we're going to get these edges that are just starting to cook off. They're not quite cooked. And we're going to move them in and we'll just fold them in, bring them up to the edge of the waffle. I'm trying to kind of square it all off to make an eggy edge. Just push it in, push it down like that. And once you've got kind of the underside cooked, it's time to do some tossing. Get right under it and bring it over like this. Look at that. Fantastic. And just then gently give it a press because some liquid can be in the middle there. We just want to make sure that all that is nice and cooked, but I think it should be. Okay, so I think that looks about ready to come out. So just lift it out and we'll pop it on a plate. And so it goes onto the plate. Our omelet in position. However, we don't just want one omelet, do we? Oh no, what we want is three. We want the three walnut tears. There we go, ah. And walnuts go with a variety of things. You can have them on their own like this, or you can just add a little bit of sauce or a bit of ketchup. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build something up. So let's just move those walnuts to one side. And I've just got a few baked beans here. I'm gonna pop them in and a bit of cheese. Okay, 
get that tear on top and again oh. and then the last one all on top and there we have it Womlets. well particularly this is the three womleteers now you don't have to have cheese and beans you could do mushrooms and all sorts of variety of things but i'm going to just try and cut through this now give you an idea of how amazingly fantastic this is as it just oozes and falls apart and there we go that is the glory of the omelette is that as you're eating it you've got one uh, omelette waffle 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 so there we have it, my omelets. Um, cheese and beans, definitely my favourite. If you try this, let me know what you try it with and what you think. But uh, for now, I'm going to go eat my lunch. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Goodbye.